Good morning to all. Last day, I have visited the beach. It made me really annoyed to see the breeze floating over the water. Debris? What do you mean? Floating waste material over the water is known as debris. Okay. Why do people throw their waste materials into water bottles? Carelessness and negligence. That's all. Terrible situation. Hey guys, since it is the modern age, let us think of a robot that can pick waste materials out of the water bodies. Robot? That's a great idea. That is how we came up with the idea to develop a robot prototype which can pick waste materials from water bodies. We are the students of St. Joseph's Public School, Kandri Pandey. I am Amin Shadhan. I am Ahmadali Nasser. And myself, Jidinas. Under the guidance of our teachers, we are extremely proud to introduce the new robot. The topic we have chosen is environmental science. And we have found a solution for water pollution. Water is a basic necessity for all living things on earth. However, in recent years, due to various causes, water bodies have been contaminated and polluted to the point where you can drink even one drop of safe water from ponds, rivers, or lakes. Plastic and other floating debris is a huge problem in cities, especially coastal areas. Toxins from plastic lead to cancer, immune system problems, and birth defects. Unfortunately, the existing cleaning methods include human labor and have a high risk of harm. To solve this problem, we have developed a robot for collecting waste materials from the water. This is a proposed model for our nano the brain of the nanobot is the Arduino Uno. It is connected to a DTM module, a camera, a power supply, and motor drivers. The motors are connected to the motor drivers. Following is the flowchart of the vehicle. The vehicle stays idle until a command is received. When a command is received, it begins its functions and moves. Following is the flowchart of the movement of the robotic arm. As the same applies for the robotic arm. Until a command is received, it waits. And when the command is received, it begins its functions. Components we used in this product are as follows. A microcontroller, a DC motor and DC motor driver, a stepper motor and stepper motor driver, a stepper motor and a DTM of decoder. As you can see in this figure, the keypad of a mobile phone is used to control the movement of the robotic arm as well as the movement of the robotic vehicle. Each key represents different operation of a robot. This is schematic diagram of our project and we have done all the connections as per the diagram. All the connections are shown in this diagram and after all this work, this is our robot. The main features of a robot is that robotic vehicles for collecting floating waste and make use of a robotic arm to pick and drop plastic debris. The waste that has been picked up with the help of an arm could be collected in a vehicle's body. Using a DTM module, we can control the movement of the vehicle as well as the robotic arm through our smartphone. For understanding the movement of the vehicle, we can use a camera. The project is cost efficient. The robotic arm was made using 3D printers. However, the body was made using scrap and waste materials. Here is a video of how it works. As we control, the neurobot is open to more advancements of the future since it is a prototype. It is an invention that will save the lives of many, animals and humans all alike. Together, let's build and hope for better.